Hello, friends. Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 4. Activate your three altered egos, the technician, the entrepreneur, and the manager. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how do you harness these three altered egos that we have inside us and that we're going to be able to use this at different types of situations. And this is crucial for us to identify in order for us to be able to build a successful restaurant. Let's dive in further. In every single one of us, we possess certain characteristics, such as the entrepreneur, the technician, and the manager. Now let's define each of these roles. And so then that way you understand when you're going to be playing each of these roles. The entrepreneur are the visionaries. They're the ones that live in the future. They're the ones that wants control and they're the ones that sees new opportunities. It's like me coming to a new neighborhood, sees that it's missing a sushi joint because it has a really high the Asian demographic and density. And therefore, a lot of people would love sushi if there was a, a sushi restaurant right there. Me thinking as an entrepreneur. Next up is the technician, the doer that, that lives in the present, that tinkers around one thing at a time. The technician is oftentimes the chef, the ones that sees things they can do differently. They see that the flow within the restaurant is, is messed up. Therefore, they create a new system, a new process in place in order for them to be more efficient. They're the ones that are changing things around. They're the ones that are suggesting new systems, new procedures, new menu items, and new ways of doing things in order to be more efficient, in order to be more profitable. Manager. They're the most pragmatic out of the three altered egos. Oftentimes, managers lives in the past. They see what has been working and it's their job to go out there and replicate that. They're the planners, they're the organizers, they're the ones that follows things and puts things in order and put things into status quo. All three of these alter ego must be present inside us and we must understand how to harness their 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 power by identifying and understanding that these three items exist in every single one of us how they coexist just because i'm on, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur doesn't mean i don't have the skill set to make sure things are always in order in order just because I'm a manager, knowing the fact that things need to be, be followed, rules need to be followed, SOPs need to be followed, doesn't mean I do not possess what it takes to adapt as a te technician, to create new things, to be in that technician role, to make things more efficient. I need to be able to possess all three of these guys and put on different hats at different stages within my business. And once again, in the worksheet down in the link below, download that worksheet and there are a ton of different templates and directions to help you define your own three altered egos. So why is it super important for us to identify it? It is because it limits our potential if we only let one alter ego dominate all of us, okay? Oftentimes we see mom and pop shop fail because they lack the ability to see the opportunity to expand. The technician in the mom and pops, they're just always there fixing things. They're always there trying to make their own business better, yet they fail to have that foresight to be a visionary, to see that, hey, you know what? Things are gonna be adapting. You know what? People are liking the vegan stuff. Maybe what we should do is to change our menu to in include vegan option as well. But a lot of mom and pops, they fail to do that. They're so focused within their in-house items. They're so focused on tinkering what is working within and what is not working within their own restaurant that they fail to see outside of them. They lack the ability to put on the entrepreneurial's hat and actually go out there and think. Next up is crashing and burning entrepreneur full flight but lacks manager that's the thing that i am super guilty of is the fact that i'm such a big entrepreneur that before understanding that i had these three hats these three alter egos that i can put on i failed to put on that side i failed to put on my manager's side 
I have a beautiful restaurant, receives poor customer service ratings, and the quality of food is just inconsistent. For me, my office is a mess, my bookkeeping is a mess because I'm a dreamer, I do things, but there are no processes, there are no systems in place within my own business, and therefore, everything, all my bookkeeping, bookkeeping is a mess. For you, you need to make sure that we put on an entrepreneurial hat, we have a big, big visionary, but we also possess the skill set to have to be a manager to make sure things are in order. And if we do not have that, it is okay. We can think like that and we can hire a manager to execute on that. Next up is burning out. We lack the technician to delegate and to trust other people. And that's something that I just talked about is a hire. A lot of times because we believe in our ability to do the best work and that we just don't trust other people, we do everything ourselves. And oftentimes it is at a huge, huge cost. We don't trust other people. We just believe that I, we are the ones that should be executing, but we don't delegate. And that in turn forces you into burnout. And when you burn out, it doesn't only affect you, it also affects the people around you, the relationships that you have, which is why defining your three altered egos is so, so important. Because once you're aware of it, now you can sh sh put on different hats at different times, and you can go out there and hire different people to help you execute if you don't wanna be working on those items. Creating your dream restaurant requires you to take on all three roles, guys. The entrepreneur's ability to dream and visualize. That's super, super important. That's when we're putting on the entrepreneur's hat. Next up, we're gonna switch hats. We're gonna be like the technician. It's our turn to go build. Go out there and build and solve problems along the way. If we just think like an entrepreneur, if all we're doing is just dreaming and we're not matching that up with doing and problem solving, then we cannot build a successful restaurant. I'm just gonna be a talker all the time. I can't execute. Next up is the manager. The manager's role is to ensure processes and systems are in place. So then that way we can ensure we can build a consistent service to our customers. This is also crucial. Once we figure out items, once we solve problems, we start, we need to start creating processes and systems in order for us to manage people, in order for us to have an extension of ourselves and in order for us to expand at scale. There are three common pitfalls that a lot of people fall into and I'm gonna be able to explain to you all three of them. Not letting go, not hiring for help, no one else can do it better than we do. Because when we're having this common pitfall, when we're in this common pitfall, we're always acting like a technician. We're there to solve every single problem. Haven't you heard of those stories where, you know, restauranteurs need to stay into their restaurant 18 hour days, getting burnt out because they're there for years and they believe that no one else can do a better job and that if they leave, the restaurant's gonna crash and burn. That's a very, very great example of someone that is acting like a technician, but not like a manager, not like an entrepreneur. A Exactly. Neglecting that for them to grow and have time to spend with their loved ones, they need to have the procedures in place so then that way they can replicate what they're doing. They need to trust and delegate their work to managers. They lack the ability to think as an entrepreneur and to execute on new ideas. Such a common thing. It is a shame. 80% of the people that I've met and that I see suffering suffers from this common pitfall. Don't let that be you. Second pitfall is failing to grow because they're too busy micromanaging people. They're stuck in the past, times have changed and trends are passing by. They don't see the need to be up to date and give autonomy because they lack the entrepreneur in them. Their manager is dominating them. They're still living in the past. They believe that, hey, you know what? As long as I follow the processes, as long as I follow the systems, my job is done. And once again, this is what limits their capacity to grow because they're not willing to put on that entrepreneur's hat that they did once put on when they grew and then when they built this business, they forgot about that. They're in this auto mode of manager, making sure that the restaurant is running day by day. But slowly, if they do not innovate and if they don't adapt to time, their restaurant is gonna go out of trend and out of style and that's when they suffer.
And the last common pitfall, pitfall is dominated by both egos. The idea that they are there, but the shop is just chaotic, guys. No quality assurance in both service and food because of the lack of the technician and manager in-house. So many times I see this as well, that you're working with a big, big dreamer and they lack the ability to delegate, they lack the ability to trust others to do things for them, they lack the ability to hire people to put processes and systems in place for them. You, if you wanna create a beautiful, successful, profitable restaurant, you need to put on multiple different hats at all times in order for you to be successful, guys. In the link below, make sure you download the template so then that way you can identify the three altered egos and to always remind yourself of how you can harness that power. To build your dream food and beverage, your restaurant, you need all three egos, okay? Awareness is way more than half the battle in this situation. So that's why it is crucial for you to go out there and define them and have clarity in your three altered egos. What you've learned today is how to harness the three altered egos so then that way you can set your restaurant up for success. Make sure that you guys really pay attention to what you have learned in this lesson. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about the do's and the don'ts of a headache-free, drama-free partnership. I'll see you guys in the next episode.